want to add if you want a part two to this it may happen because there is a lot more that i want to touch on but i just didn't have the time due to the requirements for the challenge but yeah let me know what you want me to speak more on regarding struggles content what got me into it all of that i, I have a lot more than i can always say but uh yeah enjoy the video what's up it's your boy prince back here with another video and today's video is my submission to week three of recruits invitationals but we're gonna hop right into it so first off i want to tackle how i started making content and if i see myself continue in this journey the answer to that question is yes i do i'm, I'm gonna always make content because it's something i love something that speaks to me something that helps me get a clear image of me out into the world and i just love making memories that everybody can see you know giving people content that may or may, may or may not make them smile make their days better i've had people tell me that videos or streams of mine has improved their moods and it just it's so warming but i started and it started as a kid honestly 2011 I was 10 years old, found sore. Um, there's a bunch of YouTubers that has inspired me. Uh, Syndicate, the, the sore gaming channel in, in general, Afro Senju, Lotus Asakura, Corey Kenshin, Caleb City, Lenar. I, I could I could keep going. There's so many Sunday, but it started in 2011 thanks to sore gaming. Moving on to 2012, this was towards the end of 2011, so it was it was a little a little a little a few months after I first found them, and then 2012 they started posting more and more Sorna styles, and I was watching those. It's like, wow, these these people are amazing at what they do, and I want to be able to do this one day. So I said it, I said in stone in my mind that that's what I wanted to do in the future. Uh, fast forward. 2015 because before that I didn't have the tools to make content how I wanted at all. I still didn't in 2015, but I still tried to make do with what I had. You know, growing up in the environment I did didn't couldn't 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 make the best content, but had to do what I could. So 2015, I take my mom's phone and I'd set it up while playing on my uncle's xbox i believe it was either it was either 360 or i was playing on his ps4 i don't remember where's ps3 one of those and i was always playing advanced uh, no call of duty ghosts i set up my mom's phone to angle at the tv so i could record myself playing ghost against bots <laughs> then fast forward a couple months i started doing the same thing with, with advanced warfare and that that was my content beginning of course before that i've had recordings of myself singing dancing and everything anyone knows me knows i like to sing i like to dance but with, with what i do now gaming the content that i love to make that was then um a little bit after that I posted random videos just random snippets of me playing the game posted videos on facebook of me playing call of duty gta modding it uh, just just random stuff and then I posted a this this video of me in a high school talent show beatboxing if you go on my channel now filter it to the oldest videos you'll find it on there um but not nah, then we moved to 2017 that's when I got my first ps4 that was my own I got to stream you know upload random montages on games like fortnite and whatnot editing from share factory if you know remember if you remember those days yeah but i met i met so many amazing people i i so many amazing content creators that i looked up to like right away chain feeds uh k3 my my friends back then that are now big figures now that people look up to like santana checks bliss kai yeah i'm so proud of them but 
I, I got the chance to, to 1v1 raid and chain a few times. Uh, if you want to see a quick snippet of that. Also got jumped, thanks to chain. Here's a little bit showing of all three of those. Oh my god, that was the cleanest snipe ever, bro. Wow. Look at you. Oh, so you have the Soar clan tag. Are, are you going for, for Soar or? I've been uh, like looking towards Soar since I was maybe 11. 11? Damn. Chain says Prince versus everybody. Go. <laughs> I tried to fight back. I tried to fight okay, back. Says, Everybody stop. That, that, that was that was an amazing experience. I'm so, I'm so honored that I got the chance to be a part of those videos. You know, fast forward a couple years, I'm still still cool with both of them. They're, they're still they're still my guys. These one v ones was all the way back in like 2018, 2019. I forgot exactly which, but yeah, I, I met a lot of pe amazing people. Uh. But 2017 to 2019, until like September 2019, I was streaming purely on YouTube. Didn't want to make the switch to Twitch because I didn't know if it would go as planned, you know. But I did. The, the week I started my switch to Twitch, after that week was done, boom, I was already affiliate. And, and it was so surreal. It felt amazing. I thought I was on top of the world. I thought my career was going to take off right there. But it didn't in the way that I expected it to. But I've still gained a lot of amazing opportunities like this. Respawn. You know, I've met so many amazing people in SOAR that I still look up to. Because, of course, I'm still grinding for SOAR. When, when it comes to orgs, teams, any of that, that is the goal. SOAR, SOAR is... It's the end goal team wise for me, but that's, that's, that's beside the point. Um, yeah, 2019 made that switch between no, not between 2020. I lost access to my Twitch randomly for like nine months or something. It, it hurt cause I had to restart and, and the growth wasn't as fast. So it hit me and that's when my, 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 slight struggle started to begin when it came to me comparing myself to others i see people start streaming one day next thing you know a week later they got hundreds of thousands millions of followers you know got hundreds of people constantly in chat and i'm just sitting there with with my two and i was just sitting there thinking like is this for me should i give up but as you can see now did not give up i eventually realized that everybody has their own time no matter when you start no matter how you start, no matter what you start with, everyone has their time. My time could be to tomorrow, today, next week, next year. Who knows? I just know I got to stay patient, just keep my head up and keep moving. But I will say over this whole journey, there's, there's specifically one highlight that I want to bring up. And that's last year with the TwitchCon. And I met some amazing friends that I met through this community in person for the first time it was amazing shout out dylan and nugget but i also met sore max and a few other mem members of the team dre zephy uh drum ross Riss, crude and when i went to introduce myself to max he recognized me before i could even introduce myself and that that felt so surreal and amazing but that's 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 about it honestly I'm gonna I'm I'm keep I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep creating content because this is what I love to do that's that's honestly all I could, I could say to that question is why I continue making content is because I love it and I hope you stay along with this journey with me it's been your boy Prince and I'm out peace yo 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 what is up my dudes I am here to show you the way Today in a new video.